hey y'all welcome to my channel welcome to another moving vlog this is the second series so if you want to watch the first one go watch the first one okay but today we are shopping for my apartment grocery shopping decor shopping organization shopping like all of that good stuff i want to go out and just find all the things yeah, if you're interested make sure you guys hit that subscribe button turn your post notifications on follow your girl on instagram and tiktok because i am posting little snippets over on tiktok before they get to youtube so if you want this you know the little sneak peek go to tiktok probably gonna wear this jacket that i got from zara i love this jacket i got it in the first round of when they dropped it they dropped this twice actually and the second time they dropped it i think they dropped it in like two other colors so definitely go check i'm gonna see if i can link it down below for y'all but this jacket right here i love it i can't get enough i wear it all the time we have a debate so it's either these the new balance these are the 2000 r protection pack ones or these nike i never know what these are called Space Hippie 04s, so they look like this. I don't know which one I should wear because it's kind of like a sporty outfit, so I feel like I should wear these. But these are just so comfortable, y'all. I absolutely love these, so we might have to go with these, y'all. And then just my normal black bag that I always wear because it is bomb, okay? And I have all my little essentials in here, so let's head out. Okay, we're back and I'm gonna show y'all everything that I went to Trader Joe's too, cause you know, we had to go to Trader Joe's. All right, quick little overview. Tomatoes, onion, peppers, avocado, um, sweet potato, limes. This bone broth is actually really good. And sipping on bone broth, especially when you're sick, can definitely help because it has some good nutrients in it. Lemons, grapes, uh, potatoes, these little baby red ones that I usually eat for like either breakfast, like a breakfast potato, or I can incorporate these into dinner too. And then also some bananas, which are definitely my on the go breakfast. Like I grab this and then a little cup of oatmeal and I'm like out the door. I got some Brussels sprouts, spinach and kale. I got this from Trader Joe's. I used this before in my chicken noodle soup that I showed you guys, so good. Also got these gluten-free um, egg noodles and this is a woman owned brand so I thought, why not? It's Women's Month, mine as well. Um, cilantro, apple slices, again, something to just grab for on the go. Ginger shots, of course, for obvious reasons. My favorite orange juice, the Uncle Matt's orange juice. Of course, nothing is better than fresh squeezed orange juice, but this one is so good, y'all. Um, and then, of course, my creamer, which I love, the Starbucks non-dairy one, salmon, chicken, shrimp. I got these from Trader Joe's, the shrimp gyoza, so good. Ground turkey, best turkey bacon is from what? Trader Joe's. So good, I love this one, so I always get too, because you know I had to double it. <laughs> and then also, y'all already know, steamed chicken soup dumplings, baby. You know I had to triple it. I actually quadrupled it, but I just ate one, so we only have three left. <laughs> and then also, um, cinnamon coffee cake muffins, the gluten-free ones from Trader Joe's. So good. Oh, I got these Amy's vegan gluten-free vegetable lasagnas. I get these all the time. And when I tell you, when I don't feel like cooking and I don't have anything, I save these for those days. And it's so good, y'all. And those actually get me pretty full, the Amy's lasagnas. So, oh, I forgot about this. The Thai sweet ginger sauce. So, I usually get the sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's, but I saw this one and I never heard of it. So, I want to try it out next time I make the gyoza. So, we're going to try that out. Also, an oh, I got some of the other stuff. Hold on. Okay. Also, got some cliff bars. I keep forgetting there's stuff on the island, too. Um, cliff bars, like I said, easy on the go, grab and go type of thing because your girl's always on the go. So, yeah. All right. Let me put all of this away. Let me kind of clean up a little bit. And then I actually have to go to a birthday dinner. Another one. <laughs> I've been to like 65,000 birthday dinners. I'm surrounded by Pisces. Shout out to all the Pisces out there. Y'all are stressing me out. Okay, March is fun, but it's expensive because I'm literally going to birthday dinner after birthday dinner, at the birthday party, at the birthday this, at the birthday that, birthday brunch, birthday lunch, birthday breakfast, birthday at the party, birthday this birthday everybody like i'm just like okay i'm tired 
I need a break. Y'all, look at my apartment. It's legit nothing left in here. All of this stuff is gonna go in storage. And this is just my cleaning products and stuff I need to throw away. But it's so empty. Like all of the cabinets, just nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh, nothing in here. And then my room, just everything's gone. <laughs> Which I'm honestly not mad at, okay? The closet, she's done. She's out of here. Okay, but the reason that we're here is because I need to get these off the wall. These are the things, come on out, focus. These are the things that hold up the um, bathroom, like shower storage, no, shower shelves. Why is this not focusing? So, I bought some glue gone and I'm really hoping it works. I also got this thing from Amazon, this little scraper. So let's just hope and pray. Let me get undressed. That's the only thing about these is that it's just so hard to get these off. Like you literally can barely pull it. So I'm just praying that this is able to, well it's kind of working already, like getting the excess off, but I want to spray it down with this and see what happened oh oh come on now ew that looks so nasty one two three y'all this shit ain't working okay the more you harass it the more it actually starts to kind of come off so i'm just gonna keep doing this and just pray and as soon as i get this little piece off right here as soon as i like start to lift one of the little like hooks then i can start pulling it because these joints be on there hard now this one was from this one was from my previous set of um shelves they actually broke and like everything fell anyway um these are so hard to get off i literally been trying my hardest but it's giving y'all can have this security deposit because this is too much so right now i'm at the mall and i want to grab some stuff for my guest bathroom like cute little you know i guess you could say toiletries and body wash and lotions and all of that good stuff and i also want to get some home fragrances too so maybe like some candles or diffuser oil something like that because i have a really cute diffuser from joe malone that i feel like will eat but I don't like their scents. So I want to try something else. I think there's some good ones at Neiman. So I'm going to go in there. But anyway, we're just going to go in there and see what we find. I might stop by and look at some clothes too. But... Oh, I kind of like the lotion better. Oh my Even that one knew better. What about the... What's the, what's the best one? Tulip Mini or Rose? Tulip Mini. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this one. This is the one that Tia recommended and it smells so good, y'all. Hey, y'all, we're back. I got my lashes on, as you can see. Should I only show y'all the home stuff or do y'all wanna see everything? Maybe I'll just do it briefly about everything but focus on the home stuff. So, let's get into the home stuff first. So, from Nordstrom, y'all know my favorite place ever. I got these two. This is hand wash and hand lotion. These are from Byredo. This surprisingly smells really good because I actually do not like um, floral scents but this smells so good so I'm gonna put these in my guest bathroom and then in my actual bathroom you guys know I use the way um, exfoliating hand soap I absolutely love that one so I'm gonna do that one in my main bathroom I have to go pick some up soon and then also for the shower I got this Mojave Ghost body lotion and she ordered the body wash for me so that'll go in the guest shower Y'all know I'm finna use it too. I might pop in the guest shower and use it myself. Next up from Neiman's, I got a diffuser oil. This is by the brand Agraria San Francisco. And this scent is called Riviera Pear. When I tell you, this smells so good, y'all. Like, this is how you spell it right here. Of course, I'll link it down below for y'all. But when I tell y'all, this smells like, ooh, it smells so good. And this is the last one left. I can't really smell it because it's sealed. But y'all, I feel like I always get the last ones left like this one was the last one like i'm just lucky like that i don't know what it is but i always be grabbing the last one of stuff all right quickly the non-home stuff because y'all probably are on here to see home stuff but i did get this pop from maritzia it's 
so nice y'all super super nice i'll link it down below for y'all but i tried this on and i was like yeah she's coming home with me and then we also went to oak and fork i just got some accessories this is um gold plated i think this is like part of their special collection or something then i picked this one up very very like dainty but a statement almost so i really love that they have some good jewelry in there since i've been trying to get more into silver jewelry i picked up some more like necklaces and stuff that i could wear the first one like a little black stone which i thought was super cute and it kind of goes with like you know some of the aesthetics of my outfits that i've been wearing recently so i felt that would be good and then the next one is just another layering necklace that i could wear with that one so it's very simple it just looks like this very simple very dainty but still kind of stand stand out ish and then after i left aaron i went to go to dinner with one of my best friends and we went to spark Lena downtown in dc one of my favorite restaurants and got some food so yeah <sighs> Let me go get ready to go to New York tomorrow. This is probably not going to be in this vlog because obviously this is a moving vlog. But I think I may make like a little TikTok or something, you know, day trip to New York. All right, we're in my shower and as you can see, all of my stuff is like on the floor. These are the shower shelves that I had in my last apartment. These are by oh, I just dropped the thing. These are by far the best ones that I've tried. I've tried like four different kinds and these ones literally are the most durable they stick on the wall perfectly they're just bomb and they actually have a good amount of space for your products so this one will go right here i'm thinking and then the other one depending on how tall my products are so usually i'll put it here and then grab a product and put it in there to see how tall i want the other one to be but i think i can actually put it about right here is that straight that's the straightest it's gonna get at this point and then you just kind of snap it into the hooks i'm not gonna snap it now because i want everything to not fly off the wall because it's not done you know sticking to the wall all right so my body wash body scrub this is the one i've really been liking lately the what is this called tunisian vanilla bean by tree hut y'all hello this one's good, really good that's really all i use for my body i've tried to keep it super simple because i've been trying out different products and stuff and they just really have not been working for me so i decided to go back to the basics and just give me a good old body wash and a nice little body scrub and that is it okay so first things first my fragrances i got this little stand from amazon i can link it for y'all all right my fragrances are in this box This one is my Christian Seriana All Natural and it's so big, like the base of it won't really fit on these. So I think I'm just gonna put this one on the side. This more how it goes, it's so sad. It's literally nothing in there, but I'm just holding on to the last little bit because I love her. I literally never wear this. It's called Toka. No, it's called Gia by Toka. I never wear it. I got it and I loved it back then, but I just don't love it anymore now. This one is one of my favorites. She has to go in the front. It's Prada Girl. And then we also have YSL Libre, which can go here. And then we have, um, I forget what this is called. Oh, Fame by Paco Rabanne. And then La Perla Possibilities. Then we have Killian Love Don't Be Shy. And then we also have Miss Girl, Miss Delena. She can go here. Okay, now my jewelry box. So I had this in my other closet. But my other closet had like shelves, right? I don't have shelves in my new closet. So I don't know really where to put this. Like maybe I can put it on here. Like over here. But I just feel like that's too much. I mean, if I switch them, I don't know. I really don't know where to put that. But I did get some new jewelry. And also I need to declutter this too. A bunch of shit in here that i really ain't wore my jewelry box is from crate and barrel if you remember then you know but it has like these deep compartments so i have like my apple watch which i literally never wear i need to sell this thing um and like some belts in here there's a belt under there keep all of my heel tabs in here too and like extra buttons for my clothing the jewelry tray looks like this so you have like 
cup of your rings. These are all like necklaces. And I was putting earrings in these. And then I guess these are for bracelets. So let's first start off by decluttering these necklaces. Y'all know I used to be an Ana Luisa girl. So literally almost all of this is from Ana Luisa. This one low key still eats. This is my favorite one. The green one. So we can keep that one too. But this one's from Amazon. So cute. All right, let's get into these rings because I have so many. This one is, oh my gosh, she gotta go. This one, one of the diamonds fell out and I accidentally stepped on it so she can go. This one is like a little dupe from Amazon that I got. That one in there. This one is from Pearl Label Co. I love this one, it's so bomb. That was a good declutter. It's pretty much empty low key. So yeah, I'm gonna put these other studs in here. And then my new jewelry I got, okay. I got this from Oak and Fort. So cute, y'all. It's bomb. So I'm going to put the gold over here and the silver over here. And then I also got this ring from Oak and Fort as well. And I found my other watch. So I can go in there for now. But I also got these other rings. These are also from AliExpress like years and years and years ago. These were such good quality. Like, y'all know how AliExpress be switching up the links so the pages don't be existing no more? Yeah. I don't even know how to find these. Because I've had these for like six seven years and they literally have never ever turned on me also this little jewelry thing is from amazon i'll link it in my store and then my little tennis necklace from amazon y'all when i went to fashion week i had to like expedite so many accessories because i totally forgot that like maybe you should buy some accessories for your outfits <laughs> so yeah i got this one very very cute and that's pretty much everything All right, here's the finished product. It looks so good. And then I just had this thought of like just keeping my backups back here. There's like tons of room. I can even add another sleeve of pods. So that's perfect. And then if I even scoot this over, like I said, I can put maybe like some stirring spoons or something on the side. Another kitchen find. I actually had this in my last apartment and I just brought it over here. But it's this paper towel holder and you can stick it on your cabinet or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna do it here. My only concern is that it's just gonna look cluttered on my counter because I don't know how sometimes when you hang your paper towel and then it'd be like a little piece hanging. I don't like that. So I'm gonna have to make sure I keep it like this so it doesn't look crazy. Just put it on there. Doop, doop, doop. Like that. And then you peel the other side off and stick it wherever you want it. Ugh, I hate how that looks. She just gonna have to stay here because I don't know where else to put these, unless I put them in the cabinet, but I don't wanna do that. Okay, under the kitchen sink, I have a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to organize this too. Um, yeah, there's just, I don't know. I feel like, like I don't know if you can see back there, but all those cords are just protruding out. Like there's pipes and stuff coming out. So it doesn't really leave me a lot of room to put a lot of stuff under here. I might want to keep some stuff in the guest bathroom because this is my cleaning bin. I have so much stuff in here. Okay, so this can go on this side. Wow, no it can't, okay. <laughs> I need to find something to put these in. Cause if this can go this way, that would be great. And then, can put this on top of here since this side has more room i was thinking to put like a two-tier situation here like a maybe a spinning thingy <laughs> magic so maybe put like some of my i don't know why i have two of these like i need to empty this into here but this is actually different but does it matter no come on okay so now we got rid of one bottle. This thing is from Ikea, this little plastic bag holder. And I want to stick it on the wall right here, but also I don't. Because I feel like it'll tear the thing. Glass cleaner can go in the other bathroom. Clorox 
white. Mm -hmm. These can go down here. Ajax, I use that for like my tub and stuff. Lysol, other bad burn. And Goo Gone. I need to use this like right now, honestly. And then a bunch of my air fresheners. These are my favorites. Cause they're like, cause they blend in with the walls pretty much. They're just white. And then I always get the clean or linen scent, something like that. Thanks. Oh, and I also have this little scraper if I need. But I might have to use that right now for the floors. If you know, you know, there was like some black substance on the floor when I got here. Oh, prime example, right there. <laughs> So I'm gonna use this to get that off. And then possibly might have to use this little scraper. I understand that you just spray it on there and let it sit and it should loosen it up. And then what I'm gonna do is just take, oh, not it's coming off already. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, Google on, not playing games. All right, guest bathroom. I'm gonna put these up. They're pretty big, so I feel like I will only need one. Just one like right here. For now, all I have is this because the soap hasn't come yet. So there we go. And now I can put the shower curtain up. For this bathroom, we all saw, I put these in the bathroom, the biradal hand wash and hand lotion. And then I also, Put my Jo Malone diffuser in here, which I just didn't like the Jo Malone scents, which is why I got the one from Neiman's. Go fast. I don't think I really need that much. And then the sticks, I love that the sticks are black, like obsessed. Should I fill this up some more, y'all? Mm -mm. I don't want to waste all my stuff. And then boom. Next up, I want to get like something to put the soaps on. Maybe just like a little dish or something. Or something in this corner, like maybe a vase and like something tall. I don't know. I'm feeling it needs to be something over here. I got this pompous grass from Etsy from this seller. She doesn't even sell pompous anymore. So I can't really tell y'all exactly where I got it from. But her stuff was good, so I don't know why she stopped. But um, yeah, I would just recommend like looking at the reviews, of course, to see um, if, you know, Pompous is good or not. And then I also have that other vase that was in my room. This one from H&M Home. All right, let's try this. Cause it kind of goes with the vibes, but I do wish it was a different color, but I can always spray paint it. So that there, and then the Pompous. That's like the tallest thing that I have right now. I may switch this up, but it looks good for right now. And then the John Malone can go right next to it. Or, yeah. You see, I want something that's like more up in the corner. This might be too fluffy. Oh no, that looks good. Okay, and then that don't look bad. It's just two different whites and that looks very tacky, but we'll figure it out. I don't know why I'm so focused on this bathroom because I ain't going to be having no gas anyways. Okay, y'all. Ran some quick and while well, I'm still on my errands, I ordered my grandpa's cake for his birthday. His birthday party on Saturday. All right. Just what I came for. I'm going to grab only one for right now because I already have one that I'm using currently. So this one's going to go in my guest bathroom. And I'm wondering, should I also get like shampoo and conditioner for the guest bathroom? But I think I'll hold out for now. This body scrub is so good. I like both, honestly. But this one smells better. And then for myself, I was looking for my um, my moisture curl stuff. But I don't even see it here. And I think it's sold out. So... If I ask somebody, instead of in stock online. It's becoming harder and harder to find my curl smoothie. It's supposed to be right here, but it's not. And I literally can't find it anywhere, not even in Target anymore. Stop to complete. Now we gotta go to Target. It's a Target in front of me, but uh, they don't have what I need. So I gotta go to a whole nother Target. And I'm literally driving like a little saint because guess who left their wallet at home? This girl, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm over here riding dirty, y'all. Okay, are we in Target and why did I find that viral purse that went viral like, I wanna say a couple months ago? Oh my God, it's so cute. 
not me breaking. Oh my god, not me breaking something. Where is it? Oh my god, is it not here? Okay, we just have Target, but they were blasting music in there. Like, they really thought it was a club up in there. But anyway, I got this little trash can, the Simple Human one. I actually got, I have this one um, for my previous place so i just picked up another one and then i also got a little baking sheet because they were on sale it seemed really good quality and i want to make some um banana bread i have some gluten-free banana bread mix that i've been dying to use so target has some really good sales in there and also if you're on the target app when well, my camera's not if you're on the target app they have like 20 percent off betting right now i don't know how long it's gonna last or when this video is gonna go up because i know it's taking me forever to get it up anyway um but they're having like tons of deals like they got deals on your clothes um bath decor which is good for me because i'm looking for decor um just tons of stuff like go on your target app and just see what they have also i picked up these um cora you know feminine products for my ladies i haven't tried those and um one of my managers said it was really good so i wanted to try it out also got some milk for the banana bread mix that I might need. I got some eggs, bananas. Oh, also update. This came in the mail last night. So I feel like they look so good together. I also forgot to show y'all that I organized under here. <laughs> Did y'all hear my knees crack? Oh my God. I organized this with the bins that I had in my last island. These are from the container store. I'll link them. I definitely need something to put my rice in because she's just kind of sitting there. But have like all of my pastas. This is low key like miscellaneous. And now all of this is like sweet stuff. So I have my cliff bars in here. They're kind of sloppy. I got this nasty candy that I need to throw away, honestly. Little like cake mixes, pancake mix. Nutella, you know, all the sweet stuff. So I just kind of organize it by what it is, minus this one. And then down here, I have my ginger ale, all of my canned goods, and then, of course, water. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I am, don't look behind me. It's so much stuff. <laughs> I'm not even like close to being done for real. Oh, I'm to drink some kombucha for breakfast because Boom. um i've been drinking coffee like every day and i need to chill not only for my teeth because my teeth are no longer as white as they used to be i need to whiten them but I kind of want to just dial back because I know my creamer has a lot of sugar in it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to finish a little bit of this house before I go out with my family and stuff. You want to know what's crazy? The fact that this is well lit and the light is behind me shows you something, okay? This place has so much light and it just, oof, it just makes me so happy. Like, I don't know. The sunlight just does something to me. But anyway, um, let me tell y'all a little bit about how I want this moving process to go. So obviously this is moving vlog number two. So moving vlog number three, I wanna show y'all like me putting, getting my bedroom together. Like I sleep in there and stuff, but it ain't cute. <laughs> it ain't cute at all. So I have some things I wanna like put up in there. I need to order actually my lamps. Um, and my office vlog will be a separate vlog so that should go up after this one because it's almost done i finally got my desk up um i told y'all about that on my instagram <laughs> that thing was sitting on the floor for like weeks because it was just too heavy for me to lift by myself so i finally got it up my father and my uncle my uncle came into town and they did it together and she's up there so i gotta decorate that so y'all will see that also i do have to um reorganize under my bathroom sink because I don't know how, but it looks buck wild already. So we need to fix that. So I'll probably do that in movie vlog number three. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I need a rug. So we will look for a rug. Maybe that'll be in movie vlog number three too. Let me open this Target package with y'all and this Amazon package. I forgot what I ordered y'all. Oh, these are for my boots. So these are, um, uh, what are they called? But basically the idea is you bend them, put it inside the leg of the boot and it helps it stand up and it also helps it keep it shape. I also got a refill of the Way hand soap. Actually, go ahead and set these up now, cause why not? 
Shout out to Way for offering refills of their products so you don't have to keep buying um you know the same bottle over and over you're not wasting plastic we love that okay this is one of my favorite 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 hand washes it has like little exfoliating beads in it if you ever used it you already know and the scent is pretty okay it's not nothing groundbreaking for real fill up fill her up this is literally genius like and then let's talk about it this is 32 fluid ounces and i think this is 48 dollars this is only 16 fluid, yeah, 16 fluid ounces, and this is like $30. Great big your own dispenser, and then just that is, this is like, they really up. Look, I'm trying to put y'all on, um, okay? Like, listen, I'm trying to say it look cool. Luxury for the left. And there we have it. Okay, now let's do the boots. I know it looks crazy in here. I was trying to unpack this box, and then I realized I don't know where to put none of this stuff. <laughs> So in my Gia's, so these are my Gia Borghini boots. Y'all saw the ones that I recently just got and had to get them stretched and stuff. That was my first experience with getting a boot stretch. And look what I did on the first night of wearing them. Like, can you see the end of it? I done messed it all up. And guess what? The other one is messed up too. Look at this. It's a whole flat. <laughs> like, what was I doing? The answer is literally nothing. Like, I don't know what I did to mess that up but okay so you just fold her up and stuff it up in there and boom ta-da this versus this like come on now sometimes i will just like keep the original packaging in some of my boots these are the jeffrey campbell ones because it's pretty much like a free one of those like they send you they send it to you like this anyway so i always keep this stuff but if i happen to throw it away for any reason then i'll just you know and i also to store the dust bags i just store the dust bag inside the boot so that this, i always have the dust bag with the boot and then these bad boys from zara my little rain boots um i don't necessarily have to put anything in these will it stand up yeah it kind of stands up by itself just because of the material but you know me <laughs> we got to keep the thing going so let's keep it going minus wheel yeah give it a little a little body good look what 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 in the skinny oscar proud and then this one is giving you know a little shape you know what i'm saying Now they look healthy. We got a big old box from Target. And I got some stuff that I'm really excited about. Okay, so remember earlier in this video when I said I could never find my um, hair products? Like this is literally the only thing I feel like my hair really loves. Besides the Mazzani stuff. And I'm definitely gonna be trying some more different brands because I haven't been able to find this. But I had to order it off of Target. It's the Maui Moisture Curl Quench. So, I'm so happy I have this because as y'all can see, my hair just don't, I mean, I kind of slept in it and laid on it and did all that. So, it's the curls are, they're not even curling. But just the way that my hair loves this and it soaks it up and my curls just really bounce when I use this, unbeatable. But these are the good wipes and these are hypoallergenic safe for sensitive skin. I'm just going to put these in both bathrooms because it comes in the two pack, which I didn't know. But hey, <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I got some bakeware, finally. So, I'm not gonna lie, I think I left my old one in my other apartment. That's probably when they was like, yeah, you didn't fully like remove your stuff out of here. And I was like, yes I did. But I think I left this in the oven, I forgot to look in there. Um, but I got a new one anyway, cause this one's better. The other one was like super cheap. But this is from the brand Wilton. And it's the same brand that I got when I went to Target the first time. And I got that um, pan for the banana bread. So I got a like a baking sheet. I think I want to get a, a larger one too. Because they were actually on sale 
because I told her Target was doing all these deals. Then I got this size so I can make either lasagna or like brownies or you know whatever if I just need a smaller pan. So I got this. So yeah, that is everything and I'm about to sit down and start editing all this footage until it's time to go out with my family later and hopefully I can get this video up today because I did tell y'all that it was gonna come out today on my Instagram. So let's hope and pray. Let's just hope and pray. And yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. I love you guys. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Of course, my office vlog will be coming up next because that's the next thing I'm gonna complete. So yeah, I'm so excited for my office, y'all. Oh my gosh, I just smile every time I think about it. Mm, I can't wait. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys so much. And I will see y'all in my next one.